Hi, I'm in the radio department, uh, radiology department of Mainstream Hospital. Um, seem very nice and friendly here, and uh, they all seem uh, very, very helpful. Um, everybody seems very nice and helpful, so it's um, it's nice that everyone's sort of there for you and any questions you've got there. I was there to answer your questions. It's a very, very nice department. Well, this is it's day one of radiotherapy, and um, I'm not too sure where I've got to go, but I know I've got to have a mask fitted today. It's my Hannibal Lecter mask. And, um, yeah, that's going to be fitted today, I think, and uh, also have a CT scan. So um, I'll catch up with you guys later. Okay, bye. Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Timmy Time. Um, it's been a week or so since I put out our last vlog. Um, the last time I spoke, I had COVID-19, and I had symptoms for about nine or ten days. Um, not very nice, guys. I can really... Um, it really was an unpleasant experience, especially having chemotherapy and soon to have radiotherapy as well. Um, my wife unfortunately had it, she got it from me, but I didn't realise I had it because I had it when I had my vaccine in the hospital. Um, but she had it quite bad, she had the diarrhea and sickness and a constant coughing. Um, and she also suffers from anxiety, so um, all in all, she didn't have a very nice time of it. and. Um, She's younger than me, and um, she seemed to come off worse than me. So, after having chemotherapy, um, I think I, I coped with it quite well. I was quite surprised, but it really isn't very nice. Temperatures are 38, 39. Anyway, um, tomorrow I've got a, um, a rig tube fitting. Um, it's a feeding tube, um, which goes in just below the rib cage here, and um, goes straight into the tummy. So if you can't eat or drink during chemo radiotherapy, um, because the side effects are your, your, your throat can close up, um, your nose can close up, lose taste and smell, and you have to maintain the same body weight um, because of a mask that actually fit onto you. Um, and that's been fitted since I was 14 stone. I can't afford to put any weight on or lose any weight. So they fit a feeding tube either through the nose or through the, the abdomen. And they recommend that I have the abdomen operation tomorrow. So I have to go in tomorrow, have the operation, stay overnight and hopefully come out the next day. Um, but prior to I uh, prior to this I had to drink two of these bad boys. <coughs> two of these bad boys. And I've looked at it on YouTube and it's actually barrier mill, barrier mill sulfate. And you mix it with 35 ml of water, sorry, 65 ml of water. Give it a good shake, put it in the fridge, and drink it. And I looked on YouTube, and so many people go, oh, it's disgusting, it's so horrible. But to be honest with you, the time you get it and water in it, it's maybe about that much in the container. So I had a glass of cold water, down one, drink, down two, done. It took about 30 seconds. Um, and all these people on YouTube going, oh, it's so disgusting. But honestly, <laughs> I mean, maybe I'm a muppet, but two two of those to gulp down, it took about 20 seconds. Um, but tomorrow I've got my, my operation and my rig tube being fitted. And um, then so I have my teeth examined on the 8th of March in Ashford. And then I have my... Um, Radiotherapy to start on the 22nd of March. So I've got seven weeks of constant um, constant radiotherapy from Monday to Friday. And then um, hopefully at the end of that, with three sessions of chemotherapy, which is carboplatin, um, hopefully at the end of that, I can start going back to work and, and start earning some money. Um, I've been off sick now since, since November. And I need to get back to work. Um, I'm getting bored, crazy. Um, but I know with the radiotherapy from Monday to Friday, I, there's no way I can work um, because it does knock the shit out of you. So, in saying that, um, 
Yeah, hopefully I won't get all the side effects. But um, I'm aiming off for having the side effects just in case they come along and then I can deal with them daily. Um, but I'm going to end the vlog now, guys. It's a very, very quick vlog on the cancer. Um, and I'll keep you updated as we go through the radiotherapy and the dental and everything else which you go through. If anyone else is going through this, then please, please don't hesitate to get in contact. Um, either through Messenger or go through go through YouTube. And I'll be happy to try and help or answer any questions. Um, but watch out for the YouTube channel, guys. And the next channel coming out will be the house in the Philippines of what we're doing so far, kitchen sinks, etc., things like that. We pulled a load of stuff today, some kitchen tiles. Um, and we didn't, my father-in-law did. But um, we'll keep you posted on that as well. Um, but please subscribe to the channel, guys, and watch the channel and follow my journey through cancer and radiotherapy. And also, if you want to look at the channel for the building house in the Philippines, then do look at that as well. Okay, guys, stay safe. Remember, hands, face, space, and I'm really disappointed that the nurses only got a 1% pay rise this year. I think for the job they've done this year is outstanding. And to give them a 1% pay rise is a complete slap in the face. And I'm really disgusted with our government for not giving them at least a 7 or 8% pay rise. They've earned it this year. they put their lives on line every day. Um, and I'm appalled to think the government have just overlooked it. I mean, we're just nurses. I'm absolutely disgusted with our government. All right, guys, stay safe, enjoy the vlog, take care, bye-bye.